Hello everyone and welcome back to my Thursday after or evening. I can't get afternoon and evening right today for some reason. <gasps> Anywho, I went sourcing today. I'd already been sourcing the other day and I saved some stuff back for tonight because I like to do Thursday nights with some special stuff. And then I went sourcing today and hopefully you had a chance to watch my video from that. If not, you're going to be seeing the majority, if not all of that tonight here at the sale. Uh, I found some good stuff. It wasn't crazy, crazy expensive. That's why I put my uh, the title on that I did because maybe, just maybe some of these food stores are starting to wise up and say, hey, we need some of these resellers in our life because, you know, they paid the bills. So we'll see. We'll see if they continue to bring good stuff and not just broken stuff. I don't know. Fingers crossed, y'all. Fingers crossed. So anyway, I did find some good stuff today. Nothing. They didn't have any sales on. That was the sad part. I was like, can't you have like a senior sale? I'll be, you know, I'm senior. I'll be senior. But no, they didn't have that today. So anyway, like I said, I was happy. I was pleased with the stuff that I did find. So thanks for joining me, guys. I know I'm a couple minutes late. I was last minute throwing stuff together over here pulling tags, trying to wipe some stuff down that was super dusty and trying to get it ready for you guys. And I want to say hi to everybody in the chat. I see Linda was first. Hello, Linda. How are you doing tonight? As y'all know, Linda is one of my mods. Tammy Renee is the other one. And so if you see my name pop up, it's actually her typing. So, uh, and then there's Poppy. How are you, Poppy? And Jen. Hey, girl. Hey. She had a fun sale tonight. And then there's Mike. Hey, Mike. And let's see who else. Susan Lynn in the house. Susan's always just so happy. She's always got those smiley faces. Hey, Mary. How are you tonight, honey? <laughs> Mike said, hey, Jen. And Gina. <laughs> Mike's got jokes tonight, y'all. And then, oh, Mickey, how are you? And Helen, how are you doing tonight? Goodwill already told me they were raising price because their store wasn't making enough for money. I said, hey, here's an idea. Lower the price and get more people. Exactly, Jen. Exactly. That's what I was saying in my video because um, you fake being happy. We all do, Susan. Fake it till you make it, sweethearts. Fake it till you make it. <laughs> That's what I was saying in my video. You know, it, I, I understand not throwing away things that are chipped or cracked or whatever. I don't want it to go to the landfill either. But if they would make a scratch and dent section or so, I guess they're afraid people will intend. Why would you intentionally break something to get it cheaper though? Because then it wouldn't be worth anything. I don't know why they won't do that. Instead of just, you know, pulling it off the shelves eventually and just tossing it into a landfill. Why don't we have a scratch and dent section or shelf or something? You put all those little broken pieces or, you know, damaged pieces up there, things have things wrong with them. Somebody might actually want them. At least give them a chance for life before you throw them out. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. I'm going to suggest it to them. They probably won't listen to me. You know, who am I? But I'm going to do a suggestion. And I'm going to like hit up the Salvation Armies and Goodwills and places like that and say, hey, instead of, you know, eventually having to throw it away, why don't you do this? Maybe they think people won't see that it's broken and they'll just buy it anyway at the full price. I don't know. So oh whatever's <laughs> whatever's guys but yeah i was i was really happy that i was able to find some stuff that was not broken today which is good for my area because like i showed you in the video the poor little girl that had both arms missing and they still wanted six dollars for it that's that's normally what i find hey Anne marie how are you tonight mary beth how are you so in gen cell we learned a new word kids all right, class, what is our new word for tonight? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to quiz you already. Y'all didn't know that this was going to be a pop quiz, did you? But, I mean, really, it makes perfect sense. All right, I'm waiting for somebody to put the new word in. Because... I've been kidding around with, you know, Mary Beth, especially. And it's like, we always say elfin togs. And because that's what was on that little thing, you know, that we sold that one time. 
And it was like, that makes perfect sense that that word means clothing. Hello. But I've never heard of it. But we learned a new word. Yay! It's T-O-G-G-E-R-Y. Toggery. Toggery. So you can sound fancy when you're talking about your clothing. Do you like my fine toggery today? If I tried that in Alabama, or even in Florida for that matter, they look at me and go, uh, I didn't know what it was either. But I'm happy to have found a new word that I can use now. I'm going to be using it all the time now. So now when I say, instead of saying elephant togs all the time, maybe I'll say toggery. It's a new word for me. So anyway, we're going to get started because I know you guys are here to see some stuff and I'm here to show some stuff and I'm very excited. So I want to get started as quick as possible so I can get through as much as I can. What's Jen saying? Yes, I can say it, just not spell it. I will use it. What's the day from now? <laughs> That's the way you remember it. Put it into use. Put it into use. So if you are new to my channel, thank you for showing up. Please make sure you subscribe and hang in there and watch us. We are doing a sale, a live sale tonight. I will be giving you a starting price for each item. If you're interested in that item, you can bid on it in the chat. Um, winning bid will reserve the right to purchase that item. Shipping is not included in the price of the item that you will be seeing in the chat. That is separate from that. But I do use pirate ship to try to get you the best shipping cost that I can. And then I invoice through PayPal. So if you're new to me and never purchased, please make sure you send your information right here to Gina underscore Bay at hotmail.com. And I will need your screen name that you go by, your real name, your shipping address, and your PayPal email address. That's it. And I don't share that information with anyone unless you tell me to do so. Hey, Sandy. Oh, my gosh, Sandy. It's so good to see you. Hey, Denise. So we're going to get started and see what I got. So first up, I'm going to do these little guys because they're sitting right here next to me. Uh, also, make sure um, if you don't mind, give me a thumbs up. That really helps me a lot. And I'm going to start trying to put out more shopping videos when I can. It takes a lot of time to do those. So, you know, it may not be every day, but when I go shopping, I'll try to film. <clears throat> okay. Mary Beth Toggery is clothing, clothing related. So you have like a Toggery store where you buy clothing. I feel so smart just saying that. Okay. <laughs> so um, first up, these are little, little, yeah, little um, vintage they're, they were made for or made by the company Lillian Vernon. And they're these little dolls. Now, I could only find one of them online. And it went for like nearly $40. But not at Gina Mart and not today. So these are going to be a choice of starting at $10 each choice of these little dolls. The first one, his name is Roman Radish. Oh, Sandy, honey. I'm so sorry. So, see, he's got his little face. He's a little radish head. And he's got his little pitchfork here so he can do some gardening. But these are a little soft bodied. They feel like they've got um, not sawdust, but something kind of crunchy in there. I don't know what they're made of, but they are vintage. So here is the first one. And he is Roman Radish. The second one is this little onion guy here. I don't know his name. I couldn't find him. But I like him because he's just kind of like a little scarecrow. He's got a little onion head. And he's got a shovel in his hand. And then we've got little cabbage head. And she's got like a little spade or shovel in her hand. Little cabbage head girl. So they're like little shelf sitters. But I think they're pretty adorable. 
Yeah, they are cute, but weird. Yeah, right. I thought they were kind of interesting. I've never seen these before. So they measure, you know, the foliage kind of throws it off a little bit, but I'll give you the best measurement I can. It looks like they're about eight inches, maybe a little bit taller than that. So those are your choices. You've got the onion head, the cabbage head, or Roman radish. Jenna Thomas. <laughs> and Doug is radish head. <laughs> That's great. All right. If there's no interest in these, we will pass on them. You guys can think about them. They are adorable. I think cabbage is my favorite. I love cabbage, though. So that could have something to do with it. Okay. Next up, I'll have to see where I wrote these in because I didn't put these in like order. They're just as I'm grabbing them here. As I'm grabbing. Uh, let's do these baskets because I do have these right here. Now, I don't know who made these or the age of them. So I'm just going to do them. I mean, they look Native American, but I can't say that because they're not signed anywhere. They're not marked anywhere. They could be a redo of those. I don't know. But I priced them low. You may be getting something amazing for the price because I have no clue. I just thought they were pretty. I call them kind of boho. So these are going to be choice of again for these baskets. They're going to start at $6 choice of. And you have kind of the natural and the turquoisey color. And I think they're beautiful. I like hand woven baskets. I think they're so pretty. Oh, Sandy. Honey, I will be. Let me write that down so I don't forget to say a little prayer for you tonight, sweetheart. I didn't know you had all that going on. And then the next one is kind of like that turquoisey color, but it's a little more blue. It's not quite got the green shade in it like the other one does. It's kind of a dark turquoise, I guess. So there is the second one. And I'll give you measurements after this. And then these are more like a spiral, like a fuchsia and kind of that natural color spiral. And then one like that, that is like gold and natural colored. So that's the four. You got the fuchsia and the gold that kind of match. And then you've got the blue, like the deep turquoise and then the light turquoise that kind of match up as far as styles. You know what I'm saying? And let me give you a quick measurement on those because I haven't measured them yet. And I'm horrible about that. And Thomas is not here to tell me to measure everything. So I'll probably forget. Um, they're about eight and three quarter inches wide and probably about two and a half inches tall. Hey, PA, I haven't seen you in forever. Where have you been? Are you doing all right? And I see Mike in at six. And if there's no other interest, hey, Linda, we'll count it down. Good. I'm so glad, PA. Going once, going twice, and sold to Mike for $6. So, Mike, I'm going to give you letters so you can tell me which ones are one or ones you're interested in. We're going to say this is A, B, C, and D. I know PA did change his picture. I didn't recognize him over there for a second. I was like, who is this handsome person coming in? All of thank you, Mike. Thank you so much, honey. I love these. And like I said, they may have, you know, some kind of amazing artist behind them or something like that. I have no idea. I just picked them up today and I thought they were beautiful. I love natural products like that. Handmade natural products are amazing to me. Okay, 
So I have this one. <laughs> Snapchatting all filters. Oh, that's so cool. I have this and I just thought it was hilarious because I sat and played with it in the store for a long time before I actually picked it up. Y'all know me. Toys. Everything's a toy to me now. Let me see where I wrote it down though. I wrote it here somewhere. There he is. So it's a articulated cat. It's wood. It is articulated so you can move it any way you want to. So all the little pieces, even his little feet move. So you can put him any kind of way you want to. You can have him running or jumping or kicking or even his little tail moves. And he's going to be, where is he? An $8 start. See his body, you can turn him all kinds of weird ways and everything. He's on this little wooden base. But I thought that was fun. I know it's for artists to use to get like movements when they're trying to figure out how to draw things and all that. But I just thought it was cool if somebody just wanted to have a fun little cat sitting on a shelf. Because that's what I would do with him. I would change him every day probably to a different <laughs> a different position. <laughs> I think that one day I'd have him like looking at you. Next day I'd have him ignoring you like cats do. It is. It's Kiki. <laughs> it's Kiki. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, you could do so many fun things. You could make little clothes for it and stuff. <laughs> it's got like this little wing nut base here uh, on the base so that you can like unscrew it if you wanted to for some reason. But I just thought it was really fun. Oh, I didn't give you a measurement. I'm sorry. I forget sometimes. Uh, he's probably from the base to his nose is probably about five and a half inches long. And we'll do the height of his tail. I think that's the highest thing, about five and a half inches tall. But if there's no interest in the cat, we will pass on that and I'll set it to the side and you guys can think about it. And as always, if there's something that you see when you're watching back or if we're still doing the sale and you say it and you decide you want it, just tell me. Just tell me all about it and I'll get you. All right, so next up, I have this little guy and he's this sweet little Boyd's Bear. His name is Neville. He's from 1990 and he's got his little hang tag. And Neville's gonna be a $6 start. Will it shake? <laughs> I don't know, it might. So this is little Neville. He is, you know, he is jointed so you can move Neville around. You can stand him up or sit him down, have him give you a bear hug or put his arms down. Here's his little hang tag. It says Neville on it. And right here it says uh, Boyd's Collection, Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, 1990, right there on the tag. He's a cute little bear. He's very fuzzy. It's kind of like mohair looking. Very fuzzy fuzzy. He's a fuzzy wuzzy. Because he's a bear. Get it? I know dad jokes. I do them all the time. He's about six inches. Little six inch bear. Little fuzzy wuzzy was a bear. The archive collection. He's part of the archive collection, I guess. All right, so we're going to pass on him. That's fine. I'm going to set him down and put his arms down and set him down over here. Now, something else I found that was Boyd's Bears while I was shopping today. And I picked it up just because I was like, even if you don't do the bears and stuff, it's still a really cute piece you could use to display with. And it's this little Boyd's Bears blanket chest. It's got the little feet on it. And it is wood. It's got the boys bears thing on the inside right there. It's got a piece of cardboard, I guess, to protect it down in there. But it is all wood, little hinge box. So that's just some adhesive on the top. It does have a little bit of scratching and wear on it. Um, some of that can be wiped off or cleaned off, but just the way I found it. I thought it was cute because it's like, like you, know, you could use it for other miniatures. It's just like a little chest. 
like at the end of the bed, a little chest to put your blankets in. So it's going to be an $8 start. I know he has hair. I know, Susan. <laughs> but I used to do that with my kids all the time when they were little, though. I do the fuzzy wuzzy was a bear. Fuzzy wuzzy had no hair. Fuzzy wuzzy wasn't very fuzzy wuzzy. They were like, Mom. I bet they remember it, though. Yeah, teddy bear casket. <laughs> I hope not. You could use it like a little casket, though, if you want to be weird like me. You could put like a little cross on the top of it. <laughs> Good idea, PA. I'll give you a quick measurement, then we're going to move on. So it is seven inches wide. Uh, it looks like it's about three and a half inches tall and probably about four and a quarter inches deep. So if you need to know what size casket you need for something, there's the dimensions for you. I know now I have ideas. I know I'm very excited now because now maybe if nobody buys it, I may do something weird with it. <laughs> Just what I need is ideas. Ideas. A vampire teddy bear. Oh, that is a good idea. I didn't think about that. Hmm. Might have to investigate. Okay, so next I have this mid-century uh, Lucite thermometer. And I did manage to find one that was very similar to this one. Uh, and they said it was made in France in the 50s and 60s. So I thought that was pretty cool. It's shell-shaped. And as you see on the thermometer, it's in Celsius instead of Fahrenheit. And it's spelled thermometer with... T-R-E instead of T-E-R at the end down there. It's got all these little shells and stuff in there. Some little glitteries and stuff. It's pretty thick. I like the thickness. It's got the nice shell shape. And this one's going to be a $12 start. And I'll give you a measurement on it. He is... Four and a quarter, a little over four and a quarter inches tall, probably about four and three eighths inches, and about five inches wide. And I see Mike in for 12. Hey, Kay, how are you doing? Yeah, and Susan, I like that it was, you know, it, first of all, it's old, which I like, of course. It's loose light, which I like, of course. It's mid century, of course. I like that as well. But I loved that it was made in a different country. I haven't found anything made in a European country before like this. It's always American made when I find it. So I thought that was pretty interesting. So we're going to count it down going once, going twice, and sold. It does glow, Susan, under black light. It does glow. My black light's nearly out of batteries. I'm ordering a new one, though, so I can show y'all stuff better. But it does have that nice green glow to it. And it is sold to Mike for $12. Thank you, Mike. Oh, I am doing just dandelion. <laughs> you know, we all just keep on going, right? Keep pushing. Keep pushing. That's all we can do. All right. So I have this huge, huge hat box here. And I'm going to try to show it to you. But it is humongous. Thank you, Mike. Look at this thing. Okay. There. Now I got it. And it's decorated on the outside, too. Look how beautiful that is. And it's made. Hold on. I'm trying to read it to you. Hold on. <laughs> It is made, it was 2004 by Catherine White, licensed to Tricoastal Design by Art in Motion. And there you go. So when I looked, I got it upside down again. <laughs> it's so big, I'm having trouble. I'm having trouble dealing with it. When I looked these up, 
It does have the string on the inside, so it's like a huge hat box. I'm going to show you the inside of it, too, if I can. See? So, that, nobody's dying. That's just my son on the video game yelling in the background. So, when I looked these up, they were going for like $40, y'all. I can't believe it. It was like, no, 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 no. So, this one's going to start at 16 Big old beautiful box. You can use it for a huge platform. You can put little things in it to hide them if you don't want them out, like your yarn and stuff. If you do crocheting or whatever like that, you can do all kinds of things with it. Let me measure it for you. This is taking up my whole desk. It is 16 inches wide and it is seven inches tall. Yeah, really, PA. You could get a lot in here. It's a lot. You could get a big old hat in here if you wanted to. But I think it would be fun, like, even if you wanted to just put something on top of it for a pedestal, a display box, you could take the top off and lean it up kind of to the side and roll towels and put it in there and stand them up. It'd be really nice. Anything like that. I just think it's gorgeous. I couldn't leave that one. I thought it was too pretty. Too pity. Hey, Lou. Oh, my gosh. He probably is. I don't even know what he's playing. But every time somebody, like, attacks him or whatever, he starts screaming. Like he's really getting attacked in real life. <laughs> so, yeah, but Mike, if you can afford that much, honey, <laughs> that's a lot. You might want to hide because uh, I think that's a federal offense. <laughs> so going once, <laughs> going twice, and sold to Mike <laughs> for this beautiful box. Oh, my gosh. It's so pretty, Mike. Thank you. Congratulations. It's gorgeous. I almost didn't pick it up. And then I was like, nope, I'm picking that up. Well, I like, I didn't pick it up. I made my daughter go over and get it. I saw it from like across the store. I was like, oh, what is that? And she's like, a box. I was like, go get it. So I sent her over to get it. And she's so tidy. I'll see her. She came back like this. And I was like, oh, that's bigger than I thought. So. <laughs> so next up, I have this little bank. I thought he was a schnauzer. Somebody's calling it a Scotty. I don't know what he is. He's a dog and he's made in Japan and he's the kind that doesn't have the stopper. So he actually has money in there. I have no idea how much because I can't see in there to see, but he's actually got money in there. So you could have something valuable. I have no idea, but he's made in Japan, an old dog bank, which I think he's so cute. And you listen, he's got quite a bit of money in him. Don't know how much. Because I was like, I am not going to try to get it out. Because if I tried to like shake it and get it out, I'd probably break it. So I'm just going to leave the money in there. So, you know, you're getting a little extra on this one. You're getting money. <laughs> that's a Scotty. Okay, Lou, thank you. <laughs> See, that's what I was saying. But the face was throwing me off. So, he is a little over five inches tall, and he's probably about five inches uh, wide, if you're looking at the profile of him. And he is going to be, hold on, an $8 start. Like I said, there may be $5 and change in here. I have no idea. I can't see in that hole. I want to see. There's probably like some kind of rare coin in here or something. I know, Susan, it's kind of driving me crazy, but I'm not, <laughs> I'm not going to break it to find out. It's fun because, you know, this was, this is an old piece. There could be some old, like really old uh, coins in there. I have no idea. And I can't see in there. I mean, that looks like. That almost looks like a half dollar right there. The one I'm looking at. Okay, y'all. You got me nosy now. And I can't see in there. This light's about to go out. 
I can't see it. There's several coins in there, though. I don't know. I don't know if it will. I'll, I mean, I'm going to leave it in there because I said I would. But I'm like, I'm just too nosy for my own good. See? Can you see the, you can't see the way I'm holding it. Um, if I turn it up, you won't be able to see. See, there's coins right there. I've got shook down in there. That looks like a quarter right there. I don't know. It probably is silver, Linda. It's probably like $500 worth of silver. <laughs> but that's okay. So going once, <laughs> going twice, and sold. Oh, Poppy's got the tricks. Look at you go. Yeah, it's probably like the old like 50 cent piece that's worth like, you know, $500 or something. But that's okay. It's now it now belongs to Mike. So Mike can get it out and let me know if there was anything cool in there. So Mike, if you get that out and you find there's something cool in there, I want you to let me know because I'm nosy. <laughs> I don't want to know. <laughs> I can't help it. I'm nosy. That kind of stuff drives me crazy though. When I don't know something, it bothers me. Okay. So this is very interesting. I have no, <coughs> excuse me, clue what it is. I bought it because it's weird. Yeah, everybody wants to know now, Mike. <laughs> I have no idea what this is it's carved wood and it's very cool looking the feathers are kind of coming off but i have no idea what it's supposed to be this looks like a moose to me right because that looks like the horns this looks like it's supposed to be a pipe but it doesn't go all the way through see it just looks like a fake pipe i guess so is it like a fake peace pipe kind of looking thing? I don't know. I have no idea what it is. I just thought it was interesting because it's carved out of wood. And so I picked it up. But there's a strap here, a leather strap. I guess you hang it with this. I I don't have a clue, y'all. Somebody please tell me. Please, if you know, let me know. A bong. <laughs> yeah, but it doesn't go all the way through. That would be kind of cool, though. <laughs> yeah there's no hole that goes all the way through it's just like made to look that way i guess but anywho it's a foot tall 12 inches and it is about six inches profile you think you can make it work <laughs> yeah it looks like a moose doesn't it so i don't know I don't know what he is. I just thought he was cool. If you like kind of that Native American or, you know, primitive looking stuff and wood and all that, I thought somebody could just put it with the, de the decor. But um, I'm going to start at $10. He looks like a happy moose. Look at him. He looks like he's smiling. Maybe for an airplane. I guess you could stick an airplane in there. Like carved wood pipe bomb, whatever you want it to be. I love the description. It's got these leather things, straps hanging off the back with these beads on it too. And it had feathers, but some of the feathers are kind of falling apart. So I think it's got a little bit of age to it because the feathers have not held up real, real well. They're missing a little bit. But yeah, I mean, you could, you could make up a whole story. You could have it sitting on a table somewhere. So when people come in, you can make up this whole story about it. You can say you were out hiking one day. <laughs> and while you were out there, you saw this piece of wood laying somewhere covered in hundreds of years worth of foliage. And you went and you cut all the foliage off, all the growing weeds and everything that had encompassed it. And when you did, you found this amazing, amazing piece of art. 
<laughs> I don't know. I just thought it was cool looking. All right. So if there's no interest, we will pass on the wood, whatever the thing is, the majiggy thingy thing is. I don't know. Y'all can tell me what it is later. You can come up with come up with a story and let me know what it is because I have no, no idea. It's just cool looking. That's what it is. <laughs> yes, exactly. Like a survival. One. Yes, like a survivor. It could be the immunity. Piece. <laughs> I was going to get voted out, y'all. They're going to vote me off the island, but I had this and then they couldn't do it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Okay. So I got this dancer statue and it's huge, but it's amazing. It's very abstract, kind of brutalist looking to me. It doesn't have a maker or anything on it. I just think it's a really cool piece of art. I'll flip it around so you can see. Now, this is some type of metal. It's not brass, uh, but it's some type of metal that looks like it's been plated. It is a big old piece that just hit me in the head. It's a big old piece. So this is going to be a $14 start. And it is 18 inches tall. And she is about six and a half inches wide at her elbow. From her knee to her elbow, it looks like about six and a half inches. Yeah, I think it's really interesting. I don't normally buy this kind of stuff, but it looks very mid-century to me because of the gold with the black base and just because it's so minimalistic. It looks very mid-century to me. Look at the glare coming off of it from the light. There we go. Your shiny head is making a glare. She ain't got much of a booty, y'all. She's skinny. But if there is no interest in the dancer, we will put her over here. Somewhere. You go over here, lady. Lady. Hey, lady. Yeah, it does look expensive. I don't know anything about it. I just think it's pretty. Okay, so this piece. It's just an artsy, you know, like a decor piece. I don't think, you know, it's, I think it's maybe slightly vintage, if not just right at vintage. It's not super old. I just thought it was cute for summer. So it's this little tree and you got like the little beehive right here with some apples on the ground. And then you got these fabric apples on the tree in different fabrics. I just thought that was really cute. And these are wired stems, so you can move them around. But I just thought that was adorable. There's the back of the tree, in case you want to see the back of it. And so the apple tree is going to be a $10 start. And I'll give you a measurement on it. Didn't fall too far from the apple tree, did you? So this guy is about 16 inches tall. And the width is gonna the width's gonna depend on how you bend these stems out too. But where it is right now, it is 14 inches wide. So just a fun little piece. Like if you decorate with reds and apples or you know, reds and like you like bees, it's got a little bee on there. I just thought it was fun. It would be cute sitting in your kitchen. You can set it like this and prop recipe books up next to it. I just thought it was a cute little piece. Again, don't know where it was made, when it was made, anything about it. It's just cutesy. Very country chic. I wonder if that would be called cottage core. Maybe not. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Schoolhouse art piece, Becky. That would be cute. 
That would be cute. Or give it to a teacher for them to put it on a, like a bookshelf or something. That'd be fun. Okay, so we're going to pass on that. Let me set it back here out of the way. Let me grab this glass piece right here. If I can rage at. There we go. So next, next, next. I have this turquoise bottle. It's, it is actually a turquoise glass. It's not flushed uh, with the netting on it like, um, like would be on um, the fishing balls. Nice beachy look. It's got a little sticker residue that I'll get off. But nice little beachy look on it. Nice turquoise color. And like I said in the video, I have a collection of those old fishing balls. So, of course, I was drawn to this. I thought that was beautiful. Uh, it is about seven and a quarter inches. Seven quarters, seven and a half. Yes, please give me thumbs up, guys. Just take a second just to click that. I would appreciate it so very much. Thanks, Susan. How much? I'm so sorry. Oh, you scared the crap out of me. Uh, <laughs> this is going to be an $8 start. For the little turquoise colored bottle. I'll get the next piece while we're looking at that. I'm trying to reach it. Let me reach it. I know Tammy said something that scared me. I wasn't expecting it. <laughs> I jumped. <laughs> All right. So we're going to pass on that. I'm going to set it to the side. And then I have two of these. It will be choice of... <laughs> He's trying to keep us all awake. <laughs> We're all going to have a heart attack. Okay, let me see. We're going to write this. I know I wrote it on here. Or I thought I did. Huh. Maybe I didn't. Dooby dooby doo. You know, just talk amongst yourselves for a moment <laughs> while I figure this out. I guess I didn't write it down. I thought I did. Jeez Louise, I'm losing it. Losing it. Oh, there it is. Duh. So there are two of these available. There's going to be a $10 start choice of. They're exactly the same. So I just got two of them. So that's my good choice of. So it's these beautiful... Uh, solid brass enameled vases or vases. It's got that nice little ruffle top. It's got that pretty enameling in there. So it shows off like the color of the, uh, the brass on there. You got a little bit of black and a little bit of red. And then you have it down here around the base. So there are two available, $10 start. Yep, made in India. I'm assuming. It doesn't have a tag on it. Let's see if it's got any etching or anything on the bottom. Doobie doop. I don't see. I don't see anything. That doesn't mean it's not there. I just don't see it. Y'all know I can't see. So it is. About nine and three quarters inches tall. And they're both identical, like I said. <clears throat> and they got some weight to them. Here's the other. Save proof of life. I have two. But I do like all the detailing in there that's cut into it. Okay, you're going to focus one day. One day, when I'm not expecting it. There we go. Yeah, it's a really pretty piece.
But if there's no interest, that's okay. We will pass on those. Let me set them over here. Okay. And then I have a Fenton Bell. It is black. I'm going to look at it because I couldn't see in the store good enough to see if it was black amethyst. It's so thick, it's hard to tell. You can't see light coming through it. Ah, yep, it is. It's black amethyst glass. Okay, I thought it might be. But it is the uh, bow and drape Fenton Bell with these beautiful hand-painted flowers on there. Now, it has the artist's signature somewhere in here, right there. It looks like Nichols, W Nichols or M Nichols. I can't, I can't read it, but it's right there. Give my lights a second. Right in there, it's signed. And it's got a little crystal uh, ball on it as the flower. I, I'm getting there. It's eight dollars start. Sorry, <laughs> but look at the pretty little handle. It's got a bow on it that comes down. And there's another bow that comes down, and it's got little bows and drapes all around the bottom. I think it's pity. It's pity. Um, it is. Six and three quarters inches tall. No damage to it. Has a nice little ring to it. So you could get this and have it sitting on your bedside table. So when you want your significant other to bring you coffee or breakfast, you can just and call them in there and tell them what you want. I'm not guaranteeing that will work, but that's just the idea. If there's no interest, we will pass on that. Okay, this piece right here is amazing. Amazing, amazing. This is um, very old. Oh, I see. Sorry. I see. Puppy. I'm. No one can answer. Me either, Susan. That's good in theory, right? Okay, Poppy, I'm sorry. I'm just slow on the take sometimes. Going once, going twice, and sold to Poppy. Congratulations, Poppy. Thank you so much. You guys have to let yell at me every once in a while. Okay, so this piece, like I was saying, this is an amazing piece. It's going to be an $18 start. But this is old Staffordshire from England, and it's copper luster. It's pottery, but it's copper luster pottery. And it is gorge. Look at this. All hand painted. These are deer on here. They're raised in the design of the pottery. Look at that texture on there. Look at that beautiful handle. Oh my gosh, it's luscious. This is luscious is what this is. And these pieces go for a lot of money. But like I said, it is pottery. Look on the inside. This is like a luster that they put on it. You know, like luster wear. But this is the copper luster. It's got a little dust on it. But it is gorge, gorgeous, delicious. I know pottery and stuff shouldn't be delicious, but it kind of is delicious. So it is seven and a half, a little over seven and a half inches tall. And this handle, I mean, it's just a handle, but when I first saw it, I was like, is that a person? I thought that was a person. Like their booty sticking up in there and this was their legs. But I was like, I guess not. But from the side, it looked like a person leaning over. <laughs> I know. I need more sleep. I know. But look at those deer frolicking. And they're on both sides. 
you got frolicking deer on both sides. A whole family of deer. This would be so fun. Instead of using it as a picture, which as a picture would still be amazing. It is glazed on the inside, so you could put things in it to consume if you wanted to. But to have like some flowers sticking out of this on the table, ugh, that'd be gorgeous. Oh, Randy, I'm sorry. I'm behind again. I'm behind again. I'm sorry. Randy, you all vases. I got you, sweetheart. I do have you down for those. Thank you. I know it's a great deal. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So if there is no interest in the uh, Staffordshire picture, we will put it to the side. It is beauty, beautissimus. So think about that one, guys. And then I have another thing that's like really super beautiful, I think. Let me move these vases before I forget about them. Let me move these. And again, I try to bring you like one item, at least one item every sale that is something that I would say hold on to and pass down. This is that item. So it's going to be a $30 start. But this is one of the prettiest pieces that I've picked up in a long, long time. So this is a piece of Belgium pottery. It's double handled and it's magnificent. I want to get it in there so you can actually see how beautiful this is. This is one of those pieces that I would absolutely, if it does not sell, I will put it in my collection and I will hold on to it because this is amazing. Double handled. I love the shape of it. It's very feminine. It still has its foil tag. Somebody's taped it on there because it was coming off, but it still has its foil tag on the bottom right there. Made in Belgium, HB55. And that HB stands for uh, Castellore. It's a very old piece. But look at those deer on there. Beautiful. And all that gold that's been laid on there. This is an exceptional piece. Oh, you re leaving us, Randy? Yeah, this is something that, like I said, if nobody wants this, I will definitely go into this because it's truly an exceptional piece. I don't say that about a lot of things, but this one is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay, we're going to pass on it, and I'm going to set it over here to the side. You guys think about that one because it is phenomenal. At least the other side is not going to fall and get broken. It's a good idea, Gina. Hey, Bonnie. Yeah, it looks like something would be from Buckingham Pass. It does. It's amazing. I've never found anything like that before. This needs a bath. I'm not even going to lie. It needs a bath. I just picked it up today, so it hasn't had a chance to have a bath yet. But it will get one. I'm going to put it in some water and wash that dirt right off of it. But this is um, a gorgeous piece of um, Mexican uh, hand-blown glass. Y'all know how that Mexican hand-blown glass is so nice and thick and so bubbly and seedy and all that. This is one of those pieces. Look at this bowl. You can even see the pompal from inside of it. But look, like I said, don't mind there's like a ring of dirt in there that I need to wash out. Don't mind that. Look how seedy that is. It's so good. I love a good seedy glass. 
all those little tiny bubbles in there. It's just so good. And this is a piece you could have on display to put things in, or you could actually use it. Like you could put a salad in here and throw it on your table. It's just that good. You can see all those little bubbles in there. Love it. You should not as blue. You should have, Susan. You should have. <laughs> it's turquoise. <laughs> so it is eight and three inches, three eighths inches wide. Oh my God. Right. Eight inches wide. It's going to start at 14. And it is two and, if I, I could read that, three eighths inches tall. So it's kind of like a shallow bowl. But it would be fantastic for like a green salad if you're going to eat out of it. It would be great to throw like some little seashells or balls or something in. It's just beautiful. Oh, now you can see it. Look, look at all that seediness, all that gorgeous seediness in there. And you can see the lines. See the lines in the glass? Love that. Glass has got a personality, y'all. That's why I love it so much because each piece is different. When it's hand blown like this and not mass produced, each piece has its own personality. And that's why I love it so much. Gorgeous. Okay. But if there's no interest, that's okay. You guys can think about it. Uh oh. Look who just showed up. Trouble just showed up. Hello, Trouble. Hello, Trouble. Did you come in to say hello? Did you come say hi to everybody? All right, come here and say hi to everybody. Then you got to get down, okay? Because Mama's busy. Come say hi. Yeah. You don't want to say hi. You just want to climb up on my shoulder. No, you can't do that. Say hi. Say hi, everybody. <laughs> yes, Kiki. I know. I know, Kiki. Everybody saying hi to you. Yes, I love you, but you're kind of in the way right now. Say, I'm never in the way. I don't know what you're talking about, crazy lady. <laughs> All right, I'm going to try to get this piece really quick while I'm holding you. Okay. So this is, like I said, I bought it for just the litho on the inside. So if you wanted to purchase it and you wanted it taken out of this cheap kind of flimsy frame, that's fine. I have no problem doing that. Um, but I just like the picture. I thought it was great. With 4th of July coming up, I thought this was fantastic. So, okay, where are we going? You're good right there? Hmm? Are you good right there? I don't want you to fall. So, this it's going to be an $8 start for the Gettysburg address. But look at the colors. She is definitely the boss. She is Mary. Absolutely. I thought for 4th of July coming up, this is fantastic. You know, it's a repop. We know that. But it's a beautiful repop. And there's some people that probably need to read this. I've never read it before. <laughs> you know? And I'm, I'm going to measure the actual litho instead of the frame, if I can. Uh, so you know how big it is. I know. I love you, too. It's 17 inches long. And it is about probably 11 inches wide so again i could take it out of this kind of flimsy frame to ship it oh really jen <laughs> and i could just you know put it between some cardboard to ship it or something like that um but i just thought it was really fun you know it would be great to have Look how patriotic it is. You could have like some little flags next to it and everything. It'd be great for 4th of July. But if there's no interest, that's okay. I'll put old honest Abe over here to the side. Abe, go down here, buddy. You go right down there, okay? 
And Kiki, I'm gonna have to put you down, sweetheart, because I can't reach stuff while I'm holding you, okay? Don't jump back up there. I know what your plan is. I know your evil little plans. <laughs> so next up, guys, I have got these uh, brass bookends. These are solid. They are beautiful. Very shiny. I love them. And it's going to be a $14 start for the pair. And they're these pineapples. I'll show you the back side because look how beautiful and shiny they are. Somebody polished them. It wasn't me. Y'all know I don't polish this stuff. But somebody got them nice and polished up and shiny and ready to go. So these are six and a quarter inches tall with a width of about four and a quarter inches. Hey, Steph. I think these are so pretty. And again, you don't have to use them as bookends because they are like a smaller size. You could use them just to display if you wanted to. I love just putting brass with other stuff because the color and the shininess of it. To me, I've always said like this brass stuff, you know, like when you get ready to go out you know go out on the town do whatever you put on your clothes you pick out you know your your toggery that you're going to wear and then you put on your jewelry to me your metal accents are your jewelry for your room and that's why i like the silvers and the gold tones and all that mixed in because it's your jewelry for your room your room needs jewelry too But if there's no interest, we're going to pass on those. And I'll send them right over here. Okay, so these pieces, it's going to take me a second to get these. This is going to be a choice. I'm going to go ahead and tell you how much so when I get them. I don't have to hold them too long. So it is going to be choice of starting at $14. Let me see if I can pick them up. I put them way over here. So it's these wall hangings that I was showing today. This one needs wiping down. If you like chickens, if you like country, if you got either any of that, you're going to love this. So it's this punch tin chicken with little baby chick. This, this is actual wood, like framing it. But look at this shelf. It's got chicken wire a little chicken wire shelf like a barn with a, or a chicken pen isn't that cute so there's the first choice okay the chicken there's also a rooster if i can reach him come here mr rooster so here's the rooster you could you could put eggs in it Or if you had uh, like a collection of like salt and pepper shakers, you could put them in there. Whatever you want to do. And like I said, these have not been cleaned out. I just picked them up today. They got some dust in them. I told you, y'all get the freshest of the fresh. Chicken choice. <laughs> so you got the rooster or the chicken. These are wood. They're not super heavy. You know, they are large, but they're not super heavy. But I just think they're fun. They've got like a little picture hanger on the back for you to hang them up with. And you could put all kinds of stuff on that little shelf and it wouldn't fall out because you got chicken wire. So these are, I'm trying to get you the exact measurement on these. If I could see that would help. 15 and 3 or 18 and 3 quarters inches tall. And the width on these are about 11 inches, a little over 11 inches. And I thought they were fun. Or hold on. Let me say him. It's always backwards. Uh oh. What did I do? 
So I got the rooster, and then we got the chicken. Let me put the chicken back up here. Chicken. So they like squawking at each other. <laughs> I think they're fantastic. I mean, I don't decorate in that style, but I think they're so much fun. You could probably even put like a little plant in there, in like one of the small pots, like an ivy and have it growing over it. Just so fun. Yeah, you could put mail, kitchen towels, garden tools. You could put anything in it. Absolutely anything. Okay, so we're going to pass on those. I've just never seen any like that, so I had to pick them up. Y'all know. Okay, let me see if I can pick this up now. Y'all, I got so many big things tonight. What was I thinking? What is wrong with me? Sometimes I wonder about myself. Sometimes I wonder. I wonder, wonder. Okay, so next up, I have another wall hanging thing. Country, country as it comes. Again, it's going to be a $14 start. So this is a little shelf that you can hang up. And it's got an actual washboard on the front of it. Little wooden shelf. Let me see if I can open the door here. Let me set it down. Y'all know my hands don't work right, so I have to be careful how I do things. So on the inside, it's got these two little shelves. And then you got your washboard. Yes, yeah, a washboard. It says American Store Domestic and Import Mercantile. I think that's very funny. And then you got these two little pegs down here at the bottom. So you could hang this like in a laundry room. That would be fun. In a kitchen. And you got like the little storage on the inside of your washboard. Made in America. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Just a cute little piece. It looks like somebody like homemade it out of a washboard and made like a little shelf. I just thought it was super cute. Now, let me give you a measurement, y'all. I'm sorry. I always forget that. So, it is uh, about 14 and 3 quarters inches tall and with a width, uh, oops, with a width of about 7 and a half inches. So, nobody needs the washboard. The washboard shelf. <laughs> All right. I'm going to put it over here with the chickens. So you can have a whole wall over here. I'm giving you a whole gallery wall with washboards and chickens and everything else. <laughs> that would be cute with us hanging together, though. Honestly, if you put the chickens on each side and the washboard in the center some way, I think that would be cute. Okay. Next up. This is Venetian glass. <laughs> you don't want to know where I've been. <laughs> don't ask questions you don't want the answer to. <laughs> I think it's cute. Okay, so next up, I have um, it's antique Venetian glass. And I'll let you guess what color it is. <laughs> Y'all know. So this is a decanter. I had wiped it down because it's got silver overlay. So I tried to polish it because it was black. And it's still got some of the polish on the glass for me trying to polish it up a little bit. So just don't worry about that cloudiness. That'll come right off. And you won. 
it is turquoise blue. It's got this little cording couple here, which is going to be hard to see. I know. A little cording couple and the silver overlay. And as you go around, you get like the gondola scene and everything in the background. It's beautiful. So you get the decanter. And there's three little cups. I think originally it had, I don't know if it's four or six little sherry cups that came with it, but I only have three. I'm kind of just throwing those in because the decanter normally sells by itself for $35, $40. So I'm just going to throw these little cups in that go with it for free. There's three of them. So uh, the decanter is going to be an $18 start for this beautiful blue turquoise blue Venetian glass decanter. It is gorgeous. It does have a little bit of water in there still where I washed it. But I'll leave it open so that the so that the water will evaporate out of it. Yeah, imagine that blue, huh? Yeah, I th thought that was really pretty. I like the silver overlay. I don't find it on the color, you know, colors of glass very often. Usually it's on the clear. Let me give you a measurement. And then there is the decan the lid, the top, whatever you want to call it. Y'all know what it's called. That thing. Stopper. It's uh, eight and three quarters inches tall. Now, like I said, you're going to get the three cups essentially for free. I'm just throwing them in because I picked them up with it. And they'll be cute sitting around it. Same scene. Little gondola. But if there is no interest, we will pass on it. I'll set it over here to the side. And then a couple more pieces, and then we're going to do a recap for the night. Um, was there anything you saw in my preview that I didn't show that you were interested in seeing? I'm going to show the rooster. Y'all didn't like my other chickens, but I'm going to show the rooster. Um, see if I wrote him down though. I did. He's going to be a $15 start. The reason he's starting at 15 is because I think he's worth a whole lot more than that, but I can't find him. So, I'm going to have to guess at it, which I think I'm guessing very low. So he is an old Japan uh, pottery rooster decanter with two little cups. He is fantastic. Now he does have one tiny little chip on his bottom of his beak right there. See right there? Just a little rough spot. But he is so great. I love him so much. I'm going to take the cups off his tail so I don't drop them. Um, he's got a little bit of glaze loss. It looks like right here. I just saw that little glaze loss right there. But he does have his little head, which is his stopper. Let me see if I can get it out. There you go. Little cork stopper head. And he's got his Made in Japan sticker on the bottom right there. <coughs> Excuse me. But, ooh, that's, that stopper is tight, y'all. Okay, I got it in there without breaking it. And then here's the two little cups that go with it. Adorable is what this is. Adorable. This is very mid-century, if not before. And that's the, the problem I'm trying to figure out because this is either from like the 40s or like the 60s. And I'm almost leaning towards the 40s because of the color. I know it's an older piece. <laughs> Randy. <laughs> okay. Randy is in at 15. So we're going to count it down for him. Going once, 
going twice and sold to Randy for 15. Thank you. Randy's just lurking. He just don't want us to know, y'all. He just lurking over there. <laughs> All right, lurker. Okay, the so last piece of the night was my other find of today that I'm just like, wow. So, it's going to be a $45 start, which if you looked at my comps I put on the video, that's a steal of a deal. But, I'm trying to give y'all a deal as well. So, this is a Rouge Made in Italy music box jewelry box now look at the size of this thing 45 dollars start look at this is that not absolutely beautiful it is wood and it is just a phenomenal it is a music box and it plays serenade i'm klein -da 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 -da, swiss musical movement Porter Randolph Vermont and it is a rouge music box now I'm going to wind it up just a little bit I don't want to wind it too much and get in trouble it does have little brass feet on it look at the little brass footsies now I'm going to open it you ready So it does play beautifully. Okay, hold on. I'm going to try to get this tray out. So here is the first tray. All nice wood with velvet. And then you have the velvet on the inside bottom as well. I'm trying not to let it close on my finger. This is another one of those pieces that is worth just holding on to because it is gorgeous when you shut the lid the music goes off but even the front of it just look how beautiful the front of this is you got the flowers all the way around it. it's got a high lacquer and it's shining like you need the windex and shine it up okay but it is just a beautiful piece and Mike is in at 45. Mike, you're you're very smart for this one. Very smart. So we're gonna count it down if there's no other interest. Going once, going twice, and sold. Better get the sold in there. Ugh, gotta put it down. I didn't even give you a measurement. Two mic for 45. Oh, it is so good. It is so good. I'm going to tell you how big it is, though, because I didn't tell you that. It's 14 inches wide, Mike. That's how big it is. It's a big one. And it's three and three quarters inches tall. It's big. It's a big one. It's a big one. Congratulations. That's a gorgeous piece gorgeous gorgeous and you can't get that like swiss movement you know the swiss music boxes on a lot of stuff and when you do they're really good because honestly it's like they last if you take care of them they last really really good size does matter i have a mug that says that mike <laughs> all right guys so if you hung with me for this long, I'm going to do a very rapid recap over the things that are still available. So, and I'm going to just give you a number associated with each item. If you're interested in purchasing, you can just put that number in and we're going to go super fast. So thanks for hanging with me. Oh, make sure if you're cutting out now, which I hope you don't, but if you're cutting out now, make sure you come and join me tomorrow morning if you can for my Friday mug club. 
Uh, I'm going to be having some giveaways and stuff tomorrow so, so while we're drinking our coffee. So make sure you join me for that at 10 a.m. Okay, so first up, I have Roman Radish. He would be $10, number two, $10, number two. He does have his tag that says Lillian Vernon on the back. Uh, the little Lillian Vernon Cabbage Head doll would be $10, number three, $10, number three. And then Onion Head would be $10, number four for little Onion Head. Little onion head. Mike. <laughs> Somebody call 911 for Mike. <laughs> oh my gosh. And then the blue Mexican glass, blown, hand blown glass bowl was, <laughs> I'm still laughing about that. Fourteen dollars, number six. Fourteen dollars, number six. Good night, Susan. And then the little articulated wooden cat. He was uh, eight dollars, number seven. Eight dollars, number seven for the little cat. And oh, I forgot Neville. Oh no, here comes a real cat. And then Boyd's Bears, Neville, six inch um, jointed bear, which I'm trying to show you over her. Hello, jointed bear. He was $6 and number nine, $6 number nine. They don't want to see your butt. $6 number nine for the little bear. Hey, Carrie Ann. And then the Boyd's Bear box blanket chest, whatever you want to call it, or a casket, as uh, Proud American was saying earlier. The little boy's bear box, uh, wood, uh, $8, number 10, $8, number 10 for that one. And then the turquoise bottle, glass bottle with the netting was $8, number 11, $8, number 11. Okay, you can't claw me. That hurts. And then the cool dancer statue was uh, $14, number 12. $14, number 12. Okay, I see you. She's going to hang out with us, I guess. I know, Becky. i <laughs> got to be careful. And then the moose thingy that we don't know what is. Let me get the moose thingy. The uh, idol from Survivor, as we're calling it, as Mike came up with. That was a great idea. Uh, he's going to be $10, number 14. $10, number 14. I just knew one of y'all was going to tell me exactly what that thing was. And then the apple tree, I know, I hear you. Oh, my paper's falling. The apple tree was $10, number 15, $10, number 15. Let's set that there. Okay, ma'am, can you get down for just one minute and then I will come get you and give you some food and some love. No? Okay, sounds good. So... The chicken wall hangings were $14 each, and you had the chicken or the rooster. So that was number 17, $14 each, chicken or rooster. There's the chicken, and then you saw the rooster. So you could just put 14 and then which one, or 17, which one you wanted. $14 a piece, number 17, chicken or rooster. There we go. And then the book ends that we just saw a few minutes ago. Pineapple brass book ends were $14, number 19. $14, number 19. Okay, ma'am. The Gettysburg address picture was $8, number 20. $8, number 20. I know. 
and then the beautiful where'd it go the beautiful piece of old pottery here with the deer on it uh was thirty dollars number 23 thirty dollars number 23 and now i'm about ready to sell a cat <laughs> one dollar one dollar <laughs> i couldn't sell you i know you wouldn't let me would you i know and then the old staffordshire uh pitcher with the deer on it was eighteen dollars number twenty four $18.25. number <laughs> Oh, they're bidding on you, honey. They just don't know, do they? You can't send it back. You cannot send it back. <laughs> and then the Venetian decanter with the three cups was $18, number 26. $18, <laughs> funny i love it and then the cool washboard cabinet you're making my life difficult just so you know was 14 dollars number 27 14 dollars number 27 for the washboard uh shelf and that was it guys i'm gonna set this back down now because you're not gonna let me do anything are you that's okay. That's okay, sweetheart. I'll just deal with you. <laughs> well, don't get angry at me. You're the one that wanted to sit up here. I didn't make you. She doesn't care. She doesn't care, y'all. So anyway, thanks so much for coming and hanging out with me. And like I said, make sure you come back tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. for our mug uh club where i'll be showing a few items for sale probably about 10 10 items and then we're going to just have a few laughs and i'll do a couple of giveaways you know drink some coffee wake up and get our day started together so again thank you guys so much i know you could be anywhere i appreciate you coming in here hey sandy and um i will see you guys hopefully tomorrow if it's not too early i understand it's early for some of y'all but if it's not too early and always go back and watch it later there may be something in there that you're interested in so have a great night guys and if i don't see you tomorrow have a beautiful good friday tomorrow and if i don't see you before sunday have a special and amazing blessed easter so mwah, love you guys and i'll probably see you around the way right bye, bye guys say bye kiki say bye kiki Come by. <laughs>